Here's another one of our mini projects. I don't think I've shown you the scary basement. I showed you the shed once, I think. It's fallen down. She pulled some of that down. We gotta get the rest of it down. We'll put something else up. Maybe lots of cobwebs. I don't know if you can see them. See that? Yeah. Big ass spiders in there. This is the old coal room. There's still a little bit of pile of coal. This cool shit back here. This was where Grandma kept her canned goods. But there's a lot of good cement block, good pieces of wood. Wood's expensive now. Can't be throwing that shit away. There's somebody's crib. Day one on the new project. Uh, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Well, I sort of do. I'm getting the idea. Now, I suppose this is a controversial use. I haven't seen hardly any videos on using Reflectix in a basement. Crawl spaces, professional people. Um, there's one guy who has it and swears by it, has it on his cabin floors, and he lives in the north. Um, these haven't been fastened down. I just threw it up there because of all these pipes. So I can get up there and start stapling. Um, anyway, he puts his right up against the floorboards. But also, his is not a full basement. It's just like half this height. It's like a crawl space. So, um, I'm going with a two to three inch air cushion between the Reflectix and the flooring above. And then if I don't run out of money, there will be another covering across all these to seal that. It's, and it's either going to be plastic, but I think it's going to be reflective paper kind of stuff. Because I can't afford this double foam. Sure couldn't afford foam board. That would be ideal. Anyway. I do what I can, huh? With the monies I got. I don't have the money. But. <laughs> and it's been a few weeks. Since I started. But I'm not working on it every day. Um, it's creepy down here. <laughs> and I have other things to do. You see all my pumpkins. I got pumpkins and have more to pick. I've made some salsa, made a bazillion pickles. I'm making noodles to preserve eggs right now. And, um, you know, then you have life things to do laundry, dishes, cleaning. So, here's what I've gotten done. It kind of looks trashy, but... Good morning, Frank. I have some of the ceiling up, but I don't have all of it. I stopped. That's not connected. Um, because I had to go and put the rest of these. What do you call this? Um... Well, I'll find a name and tell you. There's an official name for this area. So that's where the foundation is and the beginning of where the house starts. There's a gap there. I'm sealing those with um, foam board and then don't have any done. Then, and what I'm going to do today then is to go and put um, expanding foam insulation around those to make it tight 
keep the bugs out, keep the air out that, you know, to keep it from blowing up along the floor. So there is a gap between the reflectix and the floor, obviously. It's a little different. This is kind of goofed up because there's some... I don't know why. I may have to pull that out and re redo it. It gets twisty. It's hard to do by yourself. But they tell you it's a one, a one person can do it. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes it looks okay and sometimes it doesn't. But the important thing is, will it be effective? I keep coming down and doing updates, but then I never post. So today's the day. <laughs> and here's where I am. This room with the ceiling is all done. I have not taken these pipes down yet, but I'm going to. I've cleaned these all off and wash them down. I've washed the floor. But you see it's been raining. And I haven't been able to stop the water on this side yet. So this is ready to put up the reflectix. And I, I've got one row done. can see. The floor is better. This I've stopped most of the water. I have plastic around the exterior of the house. <laughs> oh, I thought I heard water dripping. It's Franco's toenails. So let me show you what it'll look like in the end. Here's the washroom. I got that ceiling up. And I still have, I got some board up. But I gotta finish. I had to do some foam work over there. So that's the finished ceiling. It has really cool stuff. It was not terribly expensive. It's like paper but it's not like it's almost like tarp. This is not perforated. You can get it perforated so it breathes. I didn't want it to breathe. So I have to figure out things like that. And I'll need Teresa's help to do some more because it's a little tricky <laughs> managing it. But this room should go up pretty fast, couple hours. I can get the roof up. Just a matter of getting time.